better treatment planning and for communication okay that is the purpose of classifications now before we talk about the different classifications of nerve injuries we need to talk about something called as valerian degeneration uh, we have this neuron we have the myelin sheet that is covered by endoneurium okay so let's zoom out so again we see this endoneurium uh, we see the neuron so let's talk about the injury part now now we all know that this uh, exon it gets the nutrition from the cell body okay so if the <coughs> sorry <coughs> cell body say uh, it, it receives the nutrition from the cell body okay to perform the various actions okay for some reason there is total discontinuity of uh, at this region there is an injury and we have the discontinuity okay in this exon region now the nutrition from the nerve cell body a neuron cell body it is not able to reach this distal portion okay if you remember distal and proximal segments the one that is away that is distal the one that is closer that is proximal so this is the distal segment now the nutrition is, uh, the this distal segment is not able to receive its nutrition so what will happen is it will undergo degeneration okay because of the lack of nutrition now again uh, we'll reduce the opacity of this structure so we can see what's going on uh, as mentioned if there is injury at this segment so there will be valerian degeneration at the distal segment right now it uh, there will be some residue after the degeneration now that residue is being eaten up by the macrophages okay now after that what happens is there will be proliferation uh, is my diagram let me show you ha ah, yeah so <clears throat> again this is the diagram somewhat similar to this you are going to see into your textbooks okay so there is total discontinuity suppose in this example blade se cut kiya hai okay so there is uh, dis uh, discontinuity of the uh, exon and then we have the valerian degeneration of the distal segment and then there is proliferation of the uh, exonal ending from the uh, proximal segment and the exon is regenerated now <coughs> there is a catch to that that the endoneurium should be intact okay otherwise these will flare up bahar nikal jayenge if there is endoneurium the endoneurium is going to act as a guide ki isi direction mein aapko grow hona hai okay whereas if there is no endoneurium it is cut totally these uh, proliferation will will spread out okay and uh, we'll talk about all this uh, in the uh, later lectures so this is the <coughs> <coughs> diagram that you'll see after uh, uh, if there is only blunt trauma mostly there will be uh, demyelination if there is a, a excessive pressure is there even in blunt trauma then we might see that there is a valerian degeneration and uh, so on we'll talk about this after all so now that you understand what valerian degeneration is Uh, we'll talk about different classifications okay now we have two types of classification one is sedens classification given by sir herbert seden then we have sunderland's classification given by not this sundar we have sir sydney sunderland okay theek okay? hai hmm. so in every lecture and textbooks first we talk about sedan and then sunderland but i'm going to do reverse we're going to talk about first sunderland classification and then we'll talk about sedan's classification <coughs> now in sunderland's uh, sunderland's classification we have first degree second degree to up to the fifth degree of injuries okay now we'll talk about the first degree we have demyelination as i mentioned what happens because of blunt uh, trauma and uh, uh, inflammation there is demyelination the myelin sheet is damaged so that can regrow over a period of time okay there is no loss of continuity of this endoneurium and the nerve okay we just have the myelin sheet that is discontinued okay so as i mentioned uh, for the nerve growth uh, uh, regeneration of the nerve okay <coughs> we need an intact endoneurium isme to we have intact endoneurium also we have intact exon also okay so the recovery will be excellent okay uh, maximum within 1 to 3 months uh, the uh, recovery is complete okay then we come to the second degree uh, uh, injury nerve injury in that we see uh, demyelination along with valerian degeneration okay ab tak i hope valerian degeneration you understand okay so we have two things demyelination valerian degeneration in second degree okay now again <coughs> we have the intact endoneurium here okay exon is damaged myelin sheet is damaged but we have the intact uh, endoneurium okay so we're going to have a very good prognosis 
full recovery <coughs> sorry full recovery is expected within 3 to 6 months okay yeah i forgot to tell you one thing jab maine bataya tha that uh, after this valerian degeneration the residue is removed and we have the proliferation of the nerve right regeneration the regeneration is uh, at a maximum of 1 mm per day itna slow hota hai okay uh, i forgot to mention that point isliye abhi add karo okay so again i'll i'll go back and uh, recap first degree uh, nerve injury we have demyelination second degree mein we have demyelination plus valerian degeneration uh, in both the cases we have intact endoneurium so फुल फुल रिकवरी इज एक्सपेक्टेड पहले में वन टू थ्री मंथ इसमें थ्री टू सिक्स मंथ ओके क्योंकि इसमें पूरा रीजनरेट करना पड़ेगा वेर इज इन दैट केस फर्स्ट डिग्री वी हैव द माइल इन शीट दैट हैज टू बी रीजनरेटेड दैट्स इट ओके देन वी कम टू द थर्ड डिग्री वी हैव अगेन डिमाइलिनेशन वॉलेरियन डिजेनरेशन एंड वी हैव लॉस ऑफ कंटिन्यूटी ऑफ द एंडोन्यूरियम ओके नाउ रिमेंबर दिस वी हैव द इंटैक्ट एपीन्यूरियम वी हैव द इंटैक्ट पेरीन्यूरियम बट वी हैव टोटली डिसकंटिन्यूएशन ऑफ Uh, endoneurium and the uh, nerve <coughs> axon okay totally cut ho gaya wo part okay it can be because of stretching or because of uh, blunt trauma okay so only endoneurium is damaged now we come to the fourth uh, degree okay uh, aapko samajh to aa hi raha hoga we are going one level up okay so in the fourth uh, <coughs> oh i forgot to talk, talk about prognosis so in this we don't have the endoneurium intact so kya hoga poor prognosis rahega because the regeneration doesn't have a guide to uh, to know where it where it, it has to go forward where to it has to uh, regenerate okay now we have the uh, isme recovery is poor it might uh, like abnormal function bhi ho sakta hai we'll talk about this how abnormal function is uh, there in case of third degree afterwards okay now we come to the fourth degree isme again we go one level up valerian degeneration is there Uh, demyelination is there <coughs> we have loss of continuity of the endoneurium and we have loss of continuity of the perineurium okay of course isme the prognosis is very poor and we'll need surgery okay if the uh, <coughs> uh, perineurium is cut we'll have to re-suture it back to get an acceptably good recovery okay then we have the fifth degree कॉमन uh, सेंस जो लास्ट स्ट्रक्चर बचा है उसको भी कट कर देंगे दैट इज एपीन्यूरियम ओके सो इन फिफ्थ डिग्री वी हैव डिमाइलिनेशन वॉलेरियन डिजेनरेशन लॉस ऑफ कंटिन्यूटी ऑफ एंडोन्यूरियम पेरीन्यूरियम एंड एपीन्यूरियम ओके समझ आया सिंपल सो फार सो ऑफकोर्स इन दिस केस वॉट यू थिंक द प्रोग्नोसिस इज कैसे रिकवरी होगी जीरो चांस ऑफ रिकवरी अंटिल यू परफॉर्म सम माइक्रो सर्जरी ऑन दिस okay and even after the micro surgery <coughs> even after suturing the recovery is full recovery is not expected okay and if we leave this cut uh, transected uh, nerve fiber bundle separated suture nahi kiya kuch nahi kiya so what happens i told you there is regeneration that might lead to it doesn't have any guide so that might lead to neuroma formation okay so we have risk of neuroma formation also so now we're going to look at it in the format of what you find in your textbooks table format okay <coughs> first degree demyelination prognosis is excellent second degree demyelination valerian degeneration prognosis is good okay in first degree we get a <coughs> full recovery uh, within 1 to 3 months whereas in second degree 3 to 6 months third degree valerian degeneration demyelination and loss of continuity of endoneurium okay prognosis is poor it may require it may require not always it may require surgery and then in fourth degree we go one level up so demyelination valerian and loss of continuity of endoneurium and perineurium okay in this poor <coughs> sorry in this the prognosis is poor and surgery is surely required okay in case of third it may be required whereas in case of fourth it is surely required now in case of fifth we have everything sub cut ho gaya hai so demyelination valerian degeneration endoneurium perineurium epineurium all these are cut okay so poor prognosis surely required surgery and risk of neuroma formation is there okay now once you understand sandler's classification na it becomes easy for you to understand the sedens classification hmm? so we come to sedens classification uh, okay this is not sedens uh, classification this is a sandler's classification okay so the first Uh, degree of sunderland 
that is demyelination with a very good prognosis that is called as neuropaxia under sedens classification okay then we have <laughs> second third fourth degrees okay even if it is <coughs> sorry even if it is only demyelination or volerian degeneration we will call it exono exonotomesis tomesis is called as uh, cutting of a uh, organ okay now if it is third uh, degree of sunderland's that is loss of continuity of endoneurium still it is called as exonotomesis if it is fourth degree of sunderland's that is loss of continuity of endoneurium and peroneurium still it is called as nambolo exonotomesis okay then we have the fifth degree of sunderland's that is loss of continuity of endoneurium peroneurium demyelination volerian degeneration that is called as a puri cut ho gayi hai it is neurotomesis cutting off a part that is in this case the whole nerve is cut now uh, i forgot to tell you this praxia is loss of function so in this case there is a temporary loss of function loss of conduction is there so <laughs> that is why it is called as neuropraxia and tomesis is separation of parts okay samajh aaya 